Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio with AC Simmerstack, and today what we're going over are common low voltage thermostat wiring diagrams. So I'm going to be going over some of the furnace and air conditioning thermostats, and then also the heat pump thermostats. So here you see that we have the low voltage color code for connecting a thermostat to a furnace. And not all systems are going to be wired this way for when you're replacing a thermostat, so that's very important that you go ahead and note which wires were connected to which terminals before you go ahead and replace that thermostat. If you don't know where they were connected before, you can go ahead and turn the power off to the furnace and check in the inside and note where each of those wires are connected to at the furnace control board. So this is generally what you're going to see when you find a wiring diagram in a thermostat manual or a furnace manual. So they're just going to be black and white, so you just got to connect W to W, R to R. You see that we have a jumper from R to RC. And that's because R is for your heat and RC is for your air conditioning. So when you turn your thermostat to fan, it's RC that connects to G. Or if you turn your air conditioning on, it's RC that connects to Y and G. When you turn your thermostat on for heat, it's R that connects to W. So that's why when you have a furnace and air conditioning system, you have a jumper connected from R to RC. But you only need to have one wire coming out of one of the R terminals on the thermostat. You're going to notice that C is wired, so you are hard powering the thermostat in this wiring diagram. You can wire the system up with only four wires instead of five wires shown here if you have batteries in the thermostat. Then you don't have to wire up that C terminal. I also want you to note where the Y and G wires are jumping over top of that RC wire. So they are not touching the RC wire, but they are jumping over top of it. If it were just a straight line intersecting with RC, then that means it's connected. And here you have a wiring diagram for a furnace. Note that you don't have any wire on the Y terminal, and it's up to the installer whether they're going to wire up the G terminal. The G terminal, in this case, would only be used if the, the thermostat was turned on for the fan option just to circulate air through the building. But that G wire is not needed to provide heat in the building because the furnace will control when that blower turns on after the heat exchanger heats up during its heat sequence. So you could wire this just with the R wire, the W wire, and then the optional C wire. C wire would be used to hardwire the thermostat instead of using batteries. Here we have a wiring diagram for an air handler and AC. And this thermostat is the same one used for a furnace and air conditioning system. We just don't have to wire the W wire because there is no heat on this one. It's just an air handler for air conditioning only. Note that you don't have to have a jumper between R and RC because there is no heat. Now in this wiring diagram, you can see that the thermostat is different. This is a heat pump thermostat with the E and AUX. Now once again, we don't have any heat, so you don't have to have anything wired to the E or the AUX terminal. The O is for the reversing valve for a heat pump, so we don't have to have that wired on either. Here's a wiring diagram for an air handler with electric resistance heat and air conditioning. This uses the heat pump thermostat, and the reason we're using that is to make sure that when R powers E for the emergency heat, it's also going to power G for the fan, but it's not going to turn on the outdoor air conditioner. When the thermostat's calling for cooling, it's going to then connect RC to the Y and G for air conditioning. Note that the AUX is not wired to the W. Here's a wiring diagram for an air handler and heat pump with no electric strip heating. And note that you don't have the E or the AUX wired, but you do have the O wired. And O is for the reversing valve to change the refrigerant direction in order to provide heat inside the building instead of the heat removal during air conditioning mode. Now note that you don't have to have a wire connecting W at the heat pump to W at the air handler. And the only reason that that's there is to send a 24 volt signal from the heat pump to the air handler anytime defrost is happening at the heat pump. But since the air handler has no way of providing any heat inside the building, there's no need to have that there. Now you can wire that W from the heat pump to the air handler, and that will not hurt anything. Here's a wiring diagram for an air handler with electric resistance heat and a heat pump. So this is gonna be able to provide heat and air conditioning, as well as to have the electric strip heating as a backup for the heat pump. So you see that O is wired for the reversing valve, and then you have E and AUX, both wired for the electric strip heating, and this thermostat is going to determine whether the heat pump can run by itself for heat, or if it needs to run the heat pump and the auxiliary heat, and then the E is if you want to just turn it to electric strip heating only. This wiring diagram shows the B terminal wired instead of the O terminal, and that's for systems that power the reversing valve during heating mode. Good examples of those are Rood and Ream systems. In this case, you would not wire the O terminal, you would just wire the B terminal. Here you have a wiring diagram used for an air handler, air conditioner, and boiler. So since you have two separate systems with separate 24-volt transformers, you're going to remove the jumper between R and RC. 
and this single thermostat will control two separate systems. Since this thermostat is hardwired for this 24 volt power from the air handler, anytime you turn the power to the air handler off, the thermostat's going to go blank. So you could have batteries in there instead of using the C terminal, but this thermostat is going to be powered between RC and C. Here's essentially the same wiring diagram, it's just using a furnace as an example instead of a boiler. So if you had some type of furnace that you were powering that was separate from a boiler and you used the R and W terminals instead of the T, V and T terminals. So here you have a wiring diagram for a 750 millivolt thermopile, otherwise known as a power pile, along with the gas valve. So this is a fairly simple setup used on a furnace that does not have a blower motor. An example of one will be a floor furnace. So I hope these wiring diagrams have helped you. If you're looking for any of the tools I use out in the field, I have them linked down in the description section below. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. And if you want to see another HVACR training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.